one of those decisions you have to make when you're starting up a new project is .NET Core or .NET Framework. And it really shouldn't be a decision, and today we're going to explain why. Hey chatters, welcome. My name is Brendan, and in today's episode of Dev Chatter, we're going to be talking about .NET Core, .NET, .NET Framework, what the deal is with all that, and I guess what choice you should make. So let's go ahead and get started. When we got .NET in the early 2000s, it started off with just .NET Framework. That was the cool new thing that we had available to us, and a bunch of us used it. Uh, I didn't start using it until about version 2, when that one came out, but I've been using it ever since. I've been using other projects as well. However, at a certain point, they added a new framework called .NET Core. And .NET Core is pretty much the same thing. They kind of built it again. Now, you might be asking, well, why did they build it again if they already had one? Well. The old one had a lot of legacy baggage that it was bringing along with it. It had a lot of connections to Windows that it couldn't escape from. And Microsoft sort of said, well, we kind of need to support both Windows and Linux going forward with this platform. And so what they did was they took the .NET Core and made it so that it was cross-platform. It can run on Windows, it can run on Linux, and awesome. That means that this can get used in a lot more places, and it's not just those two. So it's much more portable than it was before. And when that happened, a lot of people said, well, okay, uh, which one should I pick? And a lot of companies saw it as an either-or. If you were sticking with Windows, a lot of companies said framework, and if you weren't, they said core. And that was the wrong choice. I was working as a consultant during this entire period when .NET Core was coming around, and so my clients didn't make this mistake, but I saw many other companies doing this. My clients went to .NET Core because I told them that's the future, that's the way Microsoft's going. Other companies kept saying things like, well, Microsoft says they're supporting .NET Framework, and they, and they did, and they, <laughs> and they are, but it's more supporting it in a maintenance mode. And people said, but they released another version. Yeah, they released another version, but that's really that they wanted to make sure that the people that had stuck on Framework weren't upset about not getting new stuff. And they wanted to be able to make a cutoff. Now, obviously, I don't work at Microsoft, so I can't say that, yes, this is definitely the reason they did all these things. But uh, I'm highly involved and connected in the community, and I can tell you, the writing was on the wall. .NET Core was the future, .NET Framework was going away, even if the messaging didn't say exactly that. I think it's that they didn't want to specifically say, Framework is dead, because that's really going to upset a lot of their clients that invested a lot of money in that. But the problem they've got is, how do we get people to switch from Framework over to Core if they think that Framework's staying around forever? And that's where the confusion got, well, the confusion increased, sort of. That brings us to our third thing. .NET. So with .NET 5 and .NET 6 and obviously the coming .NET 7 and, and in, in, you know, in future versions as well, we've got .NET without a framework or core on the beginning of it. That kind of leaves us in an interesting spot because people now go, well, what is this new one? Is it the merging of them like they described? Uh, it, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to make this simple. .NET is .NET Core. They just removed the word core from it and said, hey, we're bringing it all together, you can use it. Legitimately, they did a lot of work here. We should be thankful. They put a lot of effort into making the transition as easy as they could. Now, a lot of people are gonna complain that that transition is still painful. Yes, good chance it's painful, depending on your project. Where does that leave us? Well, easy. You're starting a new project? unless you absolutely have to for some reason. Your new project is .NET. Not .NET Core, not .NET Framework, it's .NET. And that means it's on the .NET Core libraries. It's on the new, shiny, fast stuff. So .NET Core, if you don't know, comes with loads of benefits over .NET Framework. It is lightweight, it is faster, they've made a lot of better choices than they did in the first time around. Now, there's still a little bit of baggage because of the fact that they wanted to maintain a fairly similar interface to the frameworks. So if you were using Framework or Core, 
it had to work pretty much the same because everything has to be done at standard. Uh, and that is a thing for another video. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Dev Chatter. If you really enjoyed it, you know what things I'm supposed to tell you here on YouTube. And if you want to catch our live stream, you should be sure to check out twitch.tv slash devchatter. And if you want to talk with us outside of the streams and outside of the YouTube videos, you can join our Discord. Links to all this stuff can be found down below. Have a great day. Happy coding, everyone.